very good evening to you and thank you for sticking to white 54 tv my name is cheryl blessing and you are watching the power talk show we have been having amazing amazing conversations on this platform and today i want us to talk about something that we've never really focused on entitlement we hear this word being thrown around but do we really understand what entitlement is and how does it even become a thing how do you say a habit is now a form of entitlement i want us to get into this conversation and really try and understand the impact of social media on our entitlement has entitlement become a right are we uh, are we entitled to our opinions are we entitled to some of the expectations that we have i want us to discuss this conversation and really figure out what is termed as entitlement when does it become harmful and how can we use it to our benefit and joining me live on set are two amazing amazing people we have a lynette when Wanjiro, Wamboy Wanjiro. Sorry, I, I almost mixed this up. You're an entrepreneur. Karibu sana. Sante sana. Yeah, it's such a pleasure to have you. It's also a pleasure to meet you before. Yeah. <laughs> and right next to her, we have Natasha Nawiri. I yes. hope I have that right. You have it right. You're a content creator. How mm. are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. We are not anxious really, but anxious. Anxious like one, not Kido anxious ten. Like yeah, <laughs> like a good kind of anxiety. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's very real. And I'm loving that we have some beautiful ladies on set. So I want us to engage on social media, which go on our platforms at Y254. And we have a very important question for you because I'd like to hear from you as well about this conversation. The question we're asking you on our social media platforms is how do you deal with entitlement in people who are close to you. There are people who are really close to you, but they express entitlement in one way or another. So how do you deal with it? How do you deal with entitlement in people who are close to you? This can be a friend, a partner, your parents even, maybe even a work colleague or your boss. How do you deal with entitlement in these scenarios? So I want us to get into this conversation. And maybe I can first start by asking, how do we define entitlement? Mm -hmm. Lynette, let me pose that to you as a business owner. Because <laughs> yeah. I know there's a lot of entitlement that goes on, especially with the clients, mm -hmm. the expectations and all that. Mm -hmm. How would you term entitlement? Uh, okay, entitlement, uh, it's a broad, actually, topic to discuss. But uh, as you said, when it comes to clientele, when it comes to being a business owner, when it comes to anyone who as long as you know you're a human being you feel you're entitled to something mm -hmm. so entitlement it's more of like you feel it's an ownership and that's how i would, I would actually term it mm -hmm. my understandings i feel like i have ownership or to something or mm -hmm. a space or an environment so for me it's more like i feel there's that feeling of you know having an ownership about something so yeah. for me i would say it's more feeling like ownership or feeling you want to have power over something or someone. Mm. Yeah. So based on that uh, <laughs> definition, it means that you already have something in your possession. Yeah. It's something that you feel like, Atakama Iko in your possession, you just feel like I have possession over this mm -hmm. and therefore I'm entitled to mm -hmm. act a certain way. Mm -hmm. Will you define it the same way, Natasha? For sure, then you, you, you feel the need to inherit something from someone, mm. you know, you, like you have the right yeah to, to inherit that thing mm. so i think more or less it's ownership uh, yeah i like that you're agreeing on that and mm. there's this common phrase of i'm entitled to my own opinion mm. especially in this <coughs> day and time so let me first start by i want us to segment this because as you pointed out lynette it's a very broad conversation sure. so let us start from the aspect of the social platforms with our friends and maybe even strangers on social media acquaintances work colleagues there's always some entitlement and i like that uh, to go from two different groups you have an entrepreneur <laughs> and a content creator yeah. and i know there's a lot of entitlement in both fields mm. you experience it you mm. know recipient sana so i can imagine like natasha you put out content mm -hmm. Someone feels like they know you and all of a sudden they're entitled to their opinion about your life. Yeah. So they'll tell you, I don't like the way you've paired that outfit with this. Mm. Maybe next time do that. Mm. How do you deal with that when you come across situations like that where you mm. feel like it's not constructive criticism mm. because there's a difference. Unonani kama who you are entitled. How do you, how do you first of all clock that mm. and even <laughs> deal with it? <laughs> okay, as a creator, <clears throat> we do not know the people who are behind the phones. 
so you choose to ignore. I don't know this person. Personally, I choose to ignore. Most people don't choose to ignore. Most people are like, kaende, kaende. <laughs> I go to your profile, check your profile. Yeah. No, no, funny. I also <laughs> tell you, bar black na green. Don't tell me to wear, you know. But for me, I choose to ignore. I'm like, I don't know you. Mm. I don't know. That's your opinion for real. Yeah. Like, you, you have, I have nothing to tell you. Mm. Just to like the comment, but thank you for the for creating traction. Now people are <laughs> coming to my video. Don't want to know so, why I'm yeah. wearing orange. <laughs> so yeah, I like I like that approach that you're taking because mm. most people will take offense. <coughs> they'll they'll wonder why have you come here with your opinion on my page, yeah. which I've opened up for you guys. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people take offense, mm. and we have seen that people responding negatively they're like oh you you've say this mm. i'm going to give you one back mm. and then all of a sudden it's a back and forth yeah <laughs> and it's happened there's a situation where i've seen someone who's very popular mm -hmm. on social media she was also a business owner mm -hmm. and she would do that constantly yeah. it's like i don't even care if you're coming to buy my things or not mm. i'll just tell you what i think yeah and where do we draw the line where do we draw the line of I, I am entitled to my opinion. Mm. Lynette, if someone comes at you, at your business, mm. where do you feel like now they have crossed a certain line where it's become rude, it's become an attack? Well, first and foremost, I'll begin with, uh, there's this phrase that goes everywhere in terms of business. The customer is always right. Mm. It happens people just misunderstand or people just, they don't think, uh, a coin has two sides. So they yeah. never try to check in both sides. You as a, as a client and me as now being a customer. Yeah. So I would say in business, people really, that is actually one thing we really, really undergo. Yeah. Unapata in business, like, I'm not happy with your service. Uh, instead of now trying to sit down, like, come tell me, excuse, my, maybe your secretary, your, your receptionist spoke rude in this kind of way. Mm. I wasn't there. I know yeah. it's my business, but I wasn't there, whatever, regardless what happened. Mm. Your client, oh, that company, their, rece their uh, receptionists, they're not really good. They're speaking so rude. I'm like, one person doesn't make my whole brand or yeah. doesn't uh, like regard everyone in that company is rude. Yeah. So if you have a problem with you, blessing, come and tell me, baby, hey, Lynn, it's this and this and this and that. Yeah. We talk one-on-one, -on -one, even in businesses. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we close deals that are very powerful. Then I happen to, you're not in good terms, maybe mm -hmm. with whoever brought the proposal, mm -hmm. but you're okay with the CEO. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you find yourself, you know, it's, it's not even a dilemma. It's nothing to discuss about. Because if you are an individual, individual sorry if you're an individual and you're like we have a problem with actually my brand is called african creatives mm -hmm. and uh, it has many departments within it yeah. so it's like you find for example one department is uh, food production yeah. farming production mm -hmm. you went to the farm maybe you got bad bad maybe bad goods yeah. i wasn't there so when you're coming to me saying, oh, Lynette's company is very bad, or oh, I'm entitled because I'm paying for this, I'm like, yes, I respect, actually, I'm working for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being a business owner, I do say, my clients are actually my employee, my, they're, I'm, their, I'm their employee. Mm -hmm. So you find, mainly, it's really harsh. Sometimes clients should also understand us. Yeah. <laughs> we have people we employ, but that doesn't mean everyone else is just like that. Yeah, I really, I really love that you've said that because the honest truth is people tend to generalize. They're like, no, this entire brand is horrible because I got this one packet of this hor is I don't know. Sure. And it's not the entire story. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've gone through 99 different products yeah. and they're all amazing. The services were impeccable. Everything was good. Mm -hmm. But then this one thing, we tend to fixate on that. And that's the problem I find with most people. We tend to fixate on the negative. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to highlight. Mm -hmm. And people do not care if it's a human being on the other side of the screen or I don't know, perhaps it's because of, you know, when with the digital space, you're very anonymous. Mm -hmm. I can write out something. By the time upateni mimi, it's like umejituma, you know. So people tend to hide behind that mask. I like the approach that both of you are taking because it's the very diplomatic stance. It's you're above it all. You're not being dragged down to these people's level. Mm -hmm. But there are those people who are persistent. You'll go to every single comment, 
and every single time they're there mm -hmm. or even your friends let's say you've done something you've created a, a very good piece of content mm -hmm. but because your friend feels like they don't resonate with that 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 content mm -hmm. they want to give you the opinion and they want to give it so harshly they don't sugarcoat it or they don't tell you something constructive they won't tell you instead of this why don't you do that they'll be like mm, by the time you know bambi at least you know to watch you know <laughs> how do you deal with that especially when it comes from your friends and because they feel like i've known you for all these years i can just tell you this and you're supposed to be okay with it you're not supposed to take offense for first and foremost i feel like i'm very blessed when it comes to friends i have supportive friends i don't have friends who talk to me like that <laughs> but if i had such such a person in my life I think it all go, goes back to communication and boundaries. I'll tell mm. you, I don't like how you you put the statement. There's a better way of putting it, and I'll tell yeah. you. I'll tell you that that's when the communication comes comes in, right? And if I feel like you're not taking it too well, I also have to. I, ha I also need to create a boundary because yeah. now I feel like you've already. I've already communicated to you that I did not like how you put the statement. Mm -hmm. So now if you think also nimekuingilia useme ah kwani wewe unachukua vitu personal okay tufanye hivi let me create a boundary yeah. let's become more of acquaintances sure. no let's not become friends if yeah. you feel like you are entitled <laughs> to whatever you are saying and we are trying to just come to common grounds telling you there's a better way of saying it then let me create a boundary let me let you go yeah or let me love you from afar mm. you know because yeah. sometimes people try to mask <coughs> hate mm -hmm. with familiarity mm -hmm. and that's not even your that. friend that's not your friend yeah that's, that's not someone who's genuine <laughs> yeah because there's there's a level where how far you cross unafa ujue best yangu na kuangana hii temperament ana jam mingi ukimwambia hivi ama if you know it's something that they actually want to go with like lifelong or something ukwe constructive it won't kill you to say maybe try this angle instead of that angle cuz me e side in as a bamba kushinda huko but people don't really factor that in and especially in relationships cuz if we get into relationships entitlement is crazy sometimes you don't even communicate particularly us as ladies <laughs> we want flowers <laughs> <laughs> you know ina kwa vitu ndogo ndogo you just want a, a date like kupelekwa out untaka to buy with chocolate just something but you haven't communicated and you feel like because he's my boyfriend or he's my husband he should provide linet how do we <laughs> i know i know it's hard to ask a lady that yeah. but how can we deal with that how can we approach the situations better in that it doesn't become we are entitled to this rather we are communicating our needs and to know na kama partner to reciprocate how do we draw that line uh, for me i do say this uh, i have a total different view about it mm -hmm. <laughs> so kwangu i would say but when the moment you're starting to know you're at a honeymoon stage with your partner the core thing i would say in relationship try as much as you can to communicate yeah unona mm -hmm. if i'm a lady who wants flowers every day maybe you want chocolate yeah so your man knows my my woman takes chocolate every day mm -hmm. i know i want to smell flowers every day so if this is the commitment you want to do it for a lifetime yeah you you have to communicate for you your partner to realize this is what i have to do to make my woman happy because mm -hmm. you know sissy women we actually enticed by silly things mm -hmm. <laughs> really silly <laughs> stuff mm -hmm. so for communication regardless either a man or a woman either of us has to communicate for me to know maybe when it comes also to to a man i would say for example dressing code men really major a lot with their <coughs> women's dressing code. Una patama na like I don't love the way you dress. Mm -hmm. And dating side when you're dating at a honeymoon stage aliko ilikuwa zile za I'll brush it off for a while yeah. but when I commit to this person I'll tell her no you're supposed to do it earlier ndio ajue I have to change this and all that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that communication from the start ndio inaanza unakuja ku realize what you value as entitlement being as my man because mm. i'll take you as a man i'll take you as my wife yeah. as a husband 
So I think communication earlier in relationship matters a lot, mainly to us women. I am a woman, but I know this is the one weak point that yeah. we never want to be told. Yeah. But women, we are so poor at communicating. But it's, I think we, there should be a course on how women should communicate we with their partners. We need to class yeah. on how to just sit down and express yourself instead yeah. of waiting for telepathic communication yeah. <laughs> to the Holy Spirit <laughs> among the air. Yeah. And it's so true because that is what causes a lot of conflict in relationships true, because ume jam. But we expect a jam, and we don't understand that men are very simple, and they they won't think the way we think. Sisi atangalia kwa like oh my god, kwa ni ni viatu si japa nguza ni me kajaga kwa nyumba hivyo. So maybe it's something that happened in the morning. He banged the door, and ume shikilie your feeling. There was this story I came across of a lady who was accustomed to chalia kile kwa nambaya flowers every single Friday morning without miss through time when you're on a date, waka ku engaged, so they were planning for a wedding. And the husband was taking care of the planning, sana. So you know, na deal na the details, everything, because you're know, like in her soft girl era. So one Friday, I think the Friday right before the wedding, things were so intense, the boyfriend or the, the fiance didn't send flowers. Ali jam. Ali, Ali jam, like full on. Ako like, yeah, he hates, he hates me. He didn't send me flowers on this one day out of like two, three years. Else. You know? <laughs> so that is kuna sense of entitlement, Apple. Mm -hmm. It's no longer an expectation. It's no longer something that you get and you appreciate. You're entitled to the flowers. You expect them. When do you know una cross line ya? Sai ni entitled. Na sai, it's just to me communicate. Anajua and I'm just expecting or... Nikona your anticipation and something will happen. Natasha, when do you feel like we cross the, the line and it becomes entitlement? Mm. And how do we catch ourselves before if it can happen? How do we understand? Maybe this one time circumstances as you allow <coughs> and it's okay. Mm. But it doesn't become mm. I don't care what was going on in your life. Mm. You you just hate me, mm. you know. Yeah. When do we know we're crossing that line? So I feel like entitlement comes in when uh, you have not communicated and you expect. Mm. I struggle with that. <laughs> like you have not communicated, but you expect that's entitlement. Yeah. Like yeah. you know, that's that's when entitlement comes in. But now when it comes to when I've already communicated, I expect but I don't think that's is that entitlement? Because <laughs> now, it's, yeah, it's yeah okay, it's, for sure. Yeah, yeah. One way or another, it's still entitlement. But now, since I've already communicated, Pia wewe si uji tu me kidogo ni baie maua. Nani alawa? Pia wewe uji, you know. Come on, <laughs> come on, exactly. You communicate and tell me, oh, babe, I don't have money this week. Yeah, this week. I don't have money Something this week. Yeah, uh, I'm a niko busy. Pesa uh, inafikia chocolate. I'm inafikia creeps you know sina pesa ya maua so itakuwa like mm. asha communicate so that's that's fine ah, yeah. Yeah. that's true that's true i feel mm. like pia kuna understanding mm -hmm. that has to come in in a relationship yeah it's not just because maybe when you were dating economy likuwa sawa senye mluko mnaanza pesa ilikuwa at least in as a all these things but then now you've gotten to a stage where you have to prioritize. You have to think about tutano mafuta kwa nyumba, gas kwa nyumba, ama tutano chocolates na maua. So there's a, there's a kind of understanding in Afai come into play. On the counter side, wanaume pia wanakuanga entitled kidogo. Wako like, weni demi yangu, ufai atakuwa unongia na watu wengine. Or even us, you, you know, it's a two-way thing. It's like, I'm entitled to you. Your time, your energy, everything. I should know where you're going. Who are you hanging out with? Video call me when you're there. Mm. That, that skips from entitlement to an insecurity. No, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. I would argue about that. Really? Okay. Yeah. I feel like and I, now you move from an entitlement to insecurity. If mm -hmm. you guys were doing it before mm. and then now it has stopped. Like you guys were updating each other. Or yeah. I'm going to... I'm, go I'm, I'm done with work, I'm going to here, here. But then now it stops reducing. No calls, no texts. Natoka nengia tu kwa nyumba tent, jakushua ni metoka wapi. So now, for sure, I'll feel, insecu I'll feel insecure. My man used to do this. 
Yeah. What is not happening? Uh, and who is cooking there? You yeah, know, you'll ask yourself. Is different. Something is different. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's when insecurity comes in. But now, if come about them, then they like if I communicate, update you about my day. Now, so that we will keep entitled now. So that when you go. <laughs> you are fighting your own that. demons. For me, my well, point yeah. to all that, I would say, yeah? mm -hmm. for example, you've dated for like two years, mm -hmm. a year, two. Mm -hmm. The routine is the same. Yeah. Really? Since the first day to the last, mm -hmm. unajua, my man akitoka job, he'll have to stop somewhere, then from there he comes home. Yeah. Na from this, this bracket hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, even if this man doesn't, like I think, come on, make an to for long. No, this is my own. Opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're entitled to your own <laughs> <I> opinion. <guess>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, I'm like, well, he didn't tell me. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But does whatever he does still flow? Mm. Mm. Whatever has he been doing for the last one year, two years, still flow? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. it does. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, fine. Mm. You'll For be okay with that. Yeah, I'll be okay with that. Even unless as as I see, aware. yes, as, unless I see whatever he used to do, mm. it could change in a way. Yeah. Or communication, yeah. you're telling me, oh, well, uh, I didn't, I went there. I'm a quick in the for the last day. I'm going to talk about the same, same thing all over yeah, again. You so you've tired. dated for three years and I know, akitoka hapa, he'll come here, then from here, he'll come home. Mm. Yeah. So unless you're going to change, it could change. I'll now start feeling insecure. Mm. Mm. But if nothing changes, na oh, it's okay. For me, yeah. it's okay. Okay. So it's not like you're entitled. <coughs> it's just that there's a pattern. Yeah. You're used to a certain pattern. So I'm a kuzoesha. Yeah. Yo kidogo si uko entitled to niniake. Because people can change. People can try new hobbies. They can decide, I want to try golfing. So I'll wake up early and go there before I go to to work. I want to try going to the gym. So I'm going to wake up early, go there, have a trainer and all that. So how do you ask that without sounding like I'm demanding to find out where you're going? Like how do you inquire in a way that doesn't make you seem like I'm entitled to know what you're doing minute by minute? The moment you guys decided to be one, mm. a partner, I expect Nile, even if you call your man, I will use it. By the way, no na demiako place flani. I would doubt that. No na, cause anajua your way of life. Yeah. That's where that I think that's how partners should be. Mm -hmm. So, um, for me to ask if I'm seeing something different, there's the way you learn your partner, either yeah. a female or a male. You know how they behave. We see time to na argue and una bring up an issue. By yeah. the way, mbona squeezy, who na tokea job mapema, who na tokea job late, kwa na unenda kwa nani. Are you getting? Yeah, yeah. But you see, for me, I do say, entitlement is that. If you really want to have that safe environment for you, for your point of view to be laid on the table, mm -hmm. when you guys are peaceful, time I expect. Ata hali kosea last year, na semanga, I bring out time when you expect. Yeah. You'll talk it peacefully. So for me, when things are really running smoothly, mm -hmm. That is, that is when you can bring out some issues. But if I have noticed for the last one month, the last one week, uh, you're no longer coming home at five. Mm. Kwani, there's a, something has changed. Kazi kunaendelea aje. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Now from there, I feel, umempe environment, yeah? Tell me. Because for me, I have this point. If I really want to drill information out of you, you're going to lie. Mm. It's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. If you drill information out of someone, they lie. Because I don't know you're trying to get to the truth them. yes yeah. but tell me what you want to tell me mm. that's all so again that that goes back to the master class your yeah. communication yeah <laughs> or maybe you attack as you defend so True. You, you just say <laughs> now you give the, the guy you know mambia sikuya ko inenda oh today by then in the salon i love you talk i think that pity any nini nini but they don't know what i'm gonna do you know you attack as you defend in angola sasa aseme yeah na yenda wapi so already you know you can have a master mind that part you are talk as you defend okay so it's about the approach it's about the timing it's about how you express mm. the things that are bothering you you know ina kuonyesha kuna fine line between entitlement na you're just being being a girlfriend being a partner mm. what about getting to know the parents getting to know the friends mm. at some point no kwanga like mbona uja introduce kwa bestie zako uko ashamed of me mbona sijui mama yako what is your plan you know <laughs> <laughs> we feel sometimes entitled to know or be part of this person's life in that i'm to introduce go to water even though sengine hata we've not had the conversation of what are we doing what are we planning on doing for our future tunaelekea wapi 
But we're like, you need to introduce, to introduce me. You need to let me know who are your friends, who are you hanging out with. That's when I say, my boys' night. Niki na nani, how are my boys? Yeah. So how do we, how do we handle that? How, to, how do we maneuver your situation, yeah? I want to know your friends. I want to be introduced to your family, especially us. So nazo madem tunakwanga kwanza yo, yeah? Nipeleke kwa mamako. Ama something. Especially after we've been dating for a while. Yeah. It's like, mm, otherwise, are you wasting my time? What are we doing here? How do you handle that, Natasha? Okay, I feel like if someone genuinely loves you and loves to have you around, na anajua how you behave around other people, that's not something you're supposed to be asking for. It will yeah. come automatically. Oh, by the babe, but nenda kutana na kina timo. Woko na, busy. See, you come... We can hang out later, or we're doing yeah. this in the night, okay? Mama, maybe Sunday, Mama, I mean, invite lunch. Sit on day. Come meet my mom, yeah. or come meet my siblings. Or, we can get a sister, because the younger sister is like, oh, Salami, mm -hmm. You know, you always know this person wants you around. But if you have a future, if you have a future, you have a future, you have a future, you have a future, Or maybe, sometimes, you know, we do not, not necessarily, you should not expect the same way, unajua unambua treat others, love yourself as you, love, love yourself, love the others as you love yourself. So yeah. sometimes, you do not wait for them to do it. You do it yourself, introduce them to your friends, introduce yeah. them to your family, so that they can see it, or like now, oh, I'm a fan of so let me also do the same. No, we introduce now. We introduce. That's when now you start asking yourself questions, you know. But then again, it all becomes comes to conversation. If, you've if if you guys have dated for long, I feel like that's a conversation you guys <coughs> should have had when you know. Yeah, uh, are we going long term? Okay, for sure. If we are going long term, so what what should we expect? Are we gonna mm. do? You know, the conversations, the communication plays yeah. a huge role. But that now also the same thing that the, the thing that I emphasize on is. If you say it's not being done and you want it done, instead of being sh instead of shouting, tick talking rudely to your partner, why don't you do it first? And yeah. if you do it and they don't still, that's when now you ri raise your eyebrows. You you ask yourself questions. Yeah. So maybe because you are done or you comfortable. We just we just just introduce our friends. Yeah. So when I mean you introduce our friends, I like that. I like that to match your hapo because I mm. want us to come back with because uh, mm. I want us to take a very short break. Okay. Come back with the way we give. 70% mm. in a relationship these days. We're like, mm, what are the test? What are the kufunzo character development? Mm. And we expect this person to give 100%. And we start wondering, mbona hani pati 100% after all this. So I want us to take a very short break. And meanwhile, you can go on our social platforms. The question to Mekuliza ni, how do you deal with entitlement, especially in people who are close to you? That's the one thing we wanted to find out from you. Give us your opinion, share an experience that you've had, and we will sample that to Kirudi. Let's take a very short break and then we'll come back. Stay tuned to White 54 TV. This is the Power Talk Show. Y254. Imagine.